Hello and thank you for watching this very brief video which I'll use to demonstrate how Nutanix Move can migrate or indeed move virtual machines from an ESXi estate over to Nutanix and in this particular demo I'm running Nutanix on AHV as the hypervisor. Now as you can see from the vSphere dashboard I'm running a virtual machine which is based on Windows 2016. Uh, you can see the virtual machine running in the background there. The only other thing of, to note really is that in this demonstration I've just simply installed the VMware tools into that virtual machine. Now if I show you the Nutanix environment, this is the dashboard. This is the dashboard that we refer to as the, as the single management plane. We refer to it as PRISM. And from there, again, on the top left-hand corner, you will see that we're running EHV as the hypervisor. Now, from the pull-down menu, I can jump straight into the virtual machine estate. One particular virtual machine that I've deployed is one called Move, which is the, our Nutanix Move appliance, which is freely available from the Nutanix portal. If you're running an EHV environment, you simply download the QCAL file, import it into the platform, and then you just power it on. It'll grab an IP address, and in this case, the IP address is there. And then we connect into the Move GUI directly through that IP address. Now migrating VMs is a three step process as you can see there. So we're gonna start off by selecting the source and the target environments. So we're going to select the source which is ASXI. Just give it a name. The IP address which will be 10.38.219.4. Credentials and the password is NX2 Tech 680 exclamation mark. Click add. Now that has add, added in the ASXI environment, and now I need to add in the target environment. So if I add another environment, this is going to be Nutanix, and the IP address in this case will be 10. 42.3.37. If I just check that, go into there, so yeah, 10.42.3.37. So that is just one of the um, IP addresses for Prism Element on one of the nodes. Um, username will be admin and then nx2 tech525 exclamation mark, click add. And this will take a couple of moments just to enumerate that cluster and bring that one back up. And there we have two environments. We have the ESXi, which is the source environment, and we can click on that one. And there you can see it's successfully connected and it has enumerated um, our first VM that we want to migrate over to Nutanix. So if I just close that one. And similarly again, you can do the same for the target cluster as well. Now the next step is to create a migration plan. So if I just give that, a, change that name slightly, demo migration plan, click proceed. Source, firmware, ESXi, and then the target is Nutanix. Um, you have the option of selecting any specific containers that you have created. In this case, I'm just going to select default, click next. I'm going to select my demo VM that I've got running on ESXi. It's now listed in the far right hand side. You can take note of any notifications and see if they are uh, relevant to the migration. In this case, I think I'm okay. So I will click next. Networking configuration. So I've already created two separate networks on the target network, primary and secondary. I'm just gonna drop this VM once it's migrated into the primary network. 
You do have the option of setting in um, test networks if you so wish to. As is checking the capacity on the target cluster and make sure that I've got enough resources, it should now drop me into the next window in just a moment or two. This is where we can set our preparation mode. Now the preparation mode is where it will do run through a series of tasks, uninstall VMware tools from the uh, from the from the source VM, um, and then it'll prepare it for migration or the, the seeding of the data over to the target destination. So I just need to provide some credentials. So the username will be for Windows, which is administrator, and then the password for the VM. Um, I don't. It's not a Linux VM, so I can just ignore that and then click next. You can change the priority, and you do have some other options if you wish to enable. Um, but for this purpose for this demo I'm just going to accept the default and continue click next Now, once it's validated all the configurations and the settings, we can simply save and start the process. Now, the first step is it's validating the plan, and you can select any of these options here to actually go into and find out some more information. So, demo migration plan, that just pops us back into the summary information that was displayed earlier. We can close that. We can have a look at any of the VMs in progress, but we're just waiting for this next point here, which is now dropped to in progress. So we can select that there. And now you can see it's preparing the source virtual machine and it will run through a number of these different steps before, um, and then it'll get to the point where it starts seeding the traffic over into the Nutanix estate. So I shall just pause the video for a moment until that's ready. And then the next stage is once we've got the data seeded over to the Nutanix estate, we are ready to do a cutover, a cutover from the ESXi estate over to the Nutanix. Okay, so now we can see that the migration plan, although it is in progress, and we can just have a look at that. We have, um, Migration state is set to ready to cut over. An estimated cut over time is about one minute. So if I just close that. Ready to cut over and we can drop into there. And now we can select the virtual machine. And now we can cut over. Um, gives us a little notification just to make sure that we it is something that we want to do and then we can continue and then we can close that and then we can drop in again and as you can see here we've dropped into another progress and it'll run through again some steps it'll quiesce the source virtual machine it will disconnect the virtual NIC um, it'll remove things like, um, and then it'll just power it off. So we should see that uh, following this process, that if we do drop into the vSphere environment, and as you can see there, it's, it has actually now powered off. And then if we just drop it straight back into the Nutanix estate, I just need to log back in. And then we can have a look under the VMs and we can see if there's anything listed so far. 
and there we have we have our demonstration VM running there and if we're just dropping to move you can see there it's just doing a source VM cleanup I can just close that down there but it's pretty much job done so if I just right click on that one loading actions we can launch the console and then we should be able to see the virtual machine running there and that's it again thank you for watching this very brief video